Hi, welcome to MKW Driving School, another video. This video is for Hay Hill, Leeds, Driving Test Center, test taken on 15th of June 2021. As you maybe already know, this is one of the main street where we normally park the car when we start the driving test. This test is with the set nav driving and then we need to follow some direction on the sign as well. So in a short while we're going to move the car and for the test. Again this is the real test, this is not a mock test so today we're going to explain you where we did some mistake in the test and what we should do to rectify it for the future and what things we should not do in the test. So like normal move when you're ready from this junction turn left watch out for pedestrians and then turn left again this left turn is 30 mile road careful for pedestrian crossing the road the speed will change to 20 miles where the blue car is this is where the speed change 20 miles now turning right into this street so right mirror signal and turn right if no one coming from the front then you don't need to stop turn right again 20 miles speed lot of meeting traffic situations careful for your meeting traffic do the proper assessment of the gap judge other driver behavior and if you need to stop for others just stop don't take any risk to go again pedestrian crossing the road or running like this very careful don't approach very fast towards them again one time doing some moving and stopping so anything safe can use to uh, do some moving and stopping I just said it early because I know they did some moving and stopping but again you just need to hear them on what spot they ask you to do some moving and stopping then you just do this according to your uh, situation move off only when it's safe make sure to check the blind spot At this junction turning left, so left mirror signal. Last road was 20 mile speed. This is also 20 mile speed. Approaching to the roundabout. Taking the third exit to go right. Now the new speed is 30 miles. The signs just before the roundabout. right mirror signal in a circle after the second exit left mirror signal and then outer circle again watch out for pedestrians downhill so make sure your speed don't go more than 30 mile on this road whenever you see the speed humps then you slow down a little bit because downhill humps jumps more try to be center of the humps don't let the one tire jump more on the hump then it looks a bit uncomfortable driving again going to approach to another roundabout soon speed is 30 miles per hour 
this is also dual carriageway but speed is only 30 miles going right third exit from this roundabout when you're about close to the roundabout then right mirror right signal right position look in advance only stop if you see someone coming from the right because this is very easy to watch on the right hand side there's no blind spot on this roundabout so if you think is an open junction and no one is coming from your right keep moving make sure you look on the left people as well left drivers the mirror signal to the left and then take this street which is 20 mile zone again some speed humps be careful on the humps some park cars may be so meeting traffic be careful then you're going to approach another roundabout this roundabout you're going to approach now have four exits so we're going to take the third exit on the right side so these park car careful and give a good clearance to the car about meter one meter and always watch towards the car so right mirror signal right position you will see the sign of 30 inner circle be careful for the left traffic after the second exit third exit now this one third now mirror signal left back to 20 mile road and one more time some moving and stopping there is a school zigzag line on this road make sure you always have to stop before the zigzag line if you don't able to stop here then it's better to continue don't need to stop then continue straight on this road then you will see a little bit bent and on the bend you will see mini roundabout so far this is 20 mile zone then this will change to 30 miles the signs are here now 30 miles you cannot see the mini roundabout in advance so first you have to follow this road then you will see mini roundabout now you're going left turn to the mini roundabout again if someone coming from your right you wait if no one coming from your right proceed careful for pedestrian now when you turn left here then you go straight you see another mini roundabout the next mini roundabout turn right this roundabout have two exits one to the left one to the right you need a right mirror signal right position don't on your signal early because there is a, some turning on your right hand side so you go to entrance on the right wait for that entrance to finish then mirror signal to the right watch in advance who is coming from your right if they're giving left signal then you can move look on the left traffic as well then there's no left signal you need just right signal in the beginning continue straight ahead on this road be ready to do some moving and stopping on this road as well this is a busy road so make sure you look properly before you move off there is a still a chance that you will do some moving and stopping exercise one more time on this road okay so be ready if they ask you twice on the same road if you keep going straight on this road then you will see some mini roundabout 
if they don't give you any information about that mini roundabout that means you just go straight from the mini roundabout without any signal but when you go straight make sure you look right street properly because there is a blind spot due to the wall of the house That's a mini roundabout. Keep moving straight if there is no one. Now, this is where the main thing will start now. You are approaching to the roundabout, the big main roundabout, controlled by the traffic light and have three directions. Left, straight and right. Straight is Selby and Crossgate, left is the York and right is City Centre. So this time we are going right, third exit, right, City Centre. So you need a right mirror signal and come to the right lane then you don't need the signal because first you have to go straight. If the light is green you should not stop this is one of the main mistake okay but you got minor this time. Now you come straight and now mirror signal right and then shift yourself to the left lane after the one. Again you why you don't get that serious mistake here because it was a time for you to move on the green light but you try to slow down there but you moved so it's like a hesitation and not watching the light properly and this time you light was just changed and you stop in a good time so that's still a little bit safe this time so then move and go to the left lane not in the right lane now you half there and half there okay make sure when you leave the junction you move in the left lane not in the right legally you can stay in both of them but you will be better safe on the left side is much better for you so again move but now see people are undertaking you from the left because you are positioned on the right now this construction is forcing you to go back now imagine if you don't look properly on your left then some and some people will pass you on your left this will become your serious mistake so lane discipline you need to do in advance then you continue straight on this road and then next sign you follow is Halton. Continue straight, this is your 40 mile road. Left side is your bus lane which is 24 7 so you don't use bus lane. Now the main important thing to remember in this test. The first mistake was when you follow the sign for city center light was green so you should not do hesitation to stop okay second the next light you stop suddenly so like you are not prepared for the second light then you move to the right and then you kept your car on the right where you should be on the left so that's like one mistake not planning properly where you are going okay so in the same style you will see some more mistake in this video that is how we know that something is missing in the learning or you are not paying attention on your road signs and road marking when you're driving which is very important soon you will see the sign 
towards Halton Temple Museum. This is your board on the left to watch. Brown color is tourist attraction, temple, museum. You need to do the lane change. So mirror signal left, watch on your left, change lane to the left. The last road was 40 miles speed, this road also 40 miles speed. So first you are following the sign for city center, for example if you are not using the sat nav. Second following the sign for Halton and now the next one you follow the sign for temple museum which is a tourist attraction and the board will be in brown color. 40 mile dual carriageway, don't drive in the cycle lane, always stay in your lane. Now when it's safe and you see the signs, then you need to do the lane change to the right hand side. Luckily we gave this route to the student already, so some of the places he seen already. So this route we just done it sometime before the test as well. Now this is traffic light control junction and speed is 30 miles which the sign says here and now when you go straight this is like a bend it's not like a junction so you don't need to slow down and stop for anybody when the light is green you follow this bend to the right to the left because there's no giveaway line in front of you you don't need to stop 30 mile road keep going straight on that road Again, if you're following the sign driving, after some time they will say that this is the end of your independent driving. I'll guide you here normally back to. This is one of the favorite route they use, which they can use with your test as well. So just understand, don't get too close. Only come when you're thinking about stopping. Okay. So be ready, they can ask you to do some moving and stopping. So always find the safe, legal and convenient place for you to stop. Otherwise it's better to carry on. But this was okay because sometimes they ask you to stop here, then you do it. And maybe this is the end of your independent driving. Maybe you're using the setnav driving and setnav driving say you reach your destination and they say can you pull up here please. Okay, so something like that depend different situations. Now soon you're going to take the turning on the left.
so left mirror signal soon the line start you enter inside the lines and the speed change from 30 to 20 now then you're going to take the next road on the left now when you come on this street in your test be ready again for doing some uh, moving and stopping So that's the one in the street. So there is no serious mistake so far up till now. Only minor mistakes. So up till here you can say your result is passed. That again you have more route to cover and nobody know what you will do later sometimes when people go for their driving test they are very confident in the first few minutes of the test for example 10 to 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes then what happened after 25 minutes 30 minutes they start losing concentration the time don't pass that quick so what you do is better read the road ahead maybe in your mouth or a little bit mumbling and tell yourself what is coming up next how I should do it what's the rule about it and keep yourself more busy more concentrate if you think talking to the examiner will make your nerves a bit calm down then talk a little bit to them, cheer up, crack some jokes, whatever, under the rule and regulation point. Talk about something, relax yourself, keep the window down. Whenever they do ask you to do some moving and stopping, if you want to take some drink, water or something, take it. Okay. If you still want to stop for any other reason, you think, ask them, can I pull up on the left side, I need to readjust my seat. I need to do this please and they will say yes can you see the safe place and can do it okay so don't be shy in your test okay they just want to see the rule and regulation okay this street be careful for your meeting traffic situations this is very narrow road and then you will see the stop sign one of the favorite stop sign they use in the test we're turning left so you have to stop on the line and a complete stop it's better to use the handbrake and then you move and don't try to move that quickly otherwise you will get the mistake not following the sign properly spend a good time and then move now we're going left into this little car park what they get is a bay parking When you see zebra crossing in the car park, make sure you still stop for the other pedestrian. Don't just keep moving. That's another zebra crossing. And better to stay in the left side as much you can and use the right bay if possible. Examiner stop the student to give him some explanation that what he want from the student the car was inside the bay so there was no mistake and as you can see the car park is very empty so hopefully there was no mistake for observation but be careful many people use this car park so don't just move without checking your blind spot which is the left shoulder and right shoulder
So after the bay parking, we back to the same place we start. Then now we're turning left and joining the road. Now, this is very important point to remember on this video in next few seconds. Now again, remember you already gave the impression when they ask you to do the right turn to the city center on the roundabout. You did not watch the signs properly or did not make a good awareness in planning and stayed in the right lane instead where you should be on the left. Okay. So when you're going to take this left turning from the traffic light and then you go to the next traffic light, then they are very clear signboard not just one time there are about four signboard okay the fourth signboard was telling you to keep in the right lane so what you did you move to the left and then try to come back again so that is again not a good planning and not good enough to say that you're watching the road sign and road marking so even now when you standing behind these cars what you should do you should be planning ahead and see what's coming up next. If you look straight, you can see some white color signboards. From that point, you can see this white color signboard telling you right lane is going straight and left lane is a dead end. Now imagine, you even got a time to stop the car on the traffic light and you have the full opportunity. Okay, you got a full opportunity to look front and see the white color signboard telling you the right lane will go straight and left lane will be a dead end and left is going left only okay so again i don't know why you didn't see the sign and where you was thinking where you was looking so look these signs one to the left one to the right now see what you do entering half air and now thinking of going back to the right lane where you already know you should be in the right lane from the start so what if you don't look properly and do this suddenly so what the impact will happen to the other drivers at the back so that's the second time not picking up your lane properly after the turning so that's your second time so let's say both of the time you got the minor mistakes okay now do you expect that if you're going to do this again still examiner gonna say this is okay no they will say this is a problem you are not planning ahead to pick your lane properly in a good time. Okay, now again up till here, as far I know, the examiner said that it is a minor mistake I gave. Okay, just to see the behavior, you look properly, you done it, so it's okay, you did it after looking properly, which is fine. Now, when you will go straight on this road, by doing the same kind of similar mistake, then you did the serious mistake okay continue a little bit and then I will tell you what was your serious mistake where you got fail this signboard says two lanes are going straight left one is quite bigger than the right one that is why they are not balanced arrow in the center so what you expect from this signboard the left people get more space, right people get less space. If you're already driving on the left side of the road, then what you expect yourself to be? Stay in the left lane and continue your journey. So just wait for this light to turn back to green. Then see yourself moving and then see where you keep your car. So you think again. You are on 40 mile road driving on the left lane if the light change you stop here okay but plan early that if there is already a lot of light in front of you your chances is always there that light will going to change to red soon so prepare prepare yourself in advance keep watching okay just wait for the light to go green again I want you to see what you did in that video okay anybody watching this video they should be looking what happened and how you get serious mistake in the test here hill test center itself is not hard unless you do things okay properly by the rules nothing is very hard okay all the UK is same doesn't matter 
Now under the bridge you was on the left lane, you stayed to the left lane, then you stayed to the left lane but suddenly you move your car from the left lane into the right lane without the mirror signal without watching on the right. And now somebody undertaking you from the left where you should be on the left. And now on the last minute you unable to change the lane and you slow down the other people. Now this is your serious mistake. This is where you fail your test. It is about the end of your test you fail your test. Now because of this one you supposed to stay in the right lane first and then safely you have to come back. But imagine yourself keeping yourself right from the beginning sorry keeping yourself left in the beginning then you stay in the left. Now maybe because I was not in the car at that time so I don't know what the examiner said to you but normally they ask you to take a right turn follow the sign for hair hills. So after the first junction the second junction is the right turning towards the hair hill where they normally take your car back to the test center. But looks like you kept your car in the left lane so maybe they didn't ask you to take a right turn I don't know. But imagine if they said you to do the right turn and you didn't done it that's the reason you went straight. Okay. So sometimes they ask you to take a right turn then change two lanes and go to the right hill side. But sometimes they use this route to go back to the test center. Okay. So what you do just keep going straight then there will be a bridge. Then you will go left side of the bridge as a slip road. Then you will approach to the roundabout under the bridge. Then you will take the right turning fourth exit near the Ford showroom. So roughly about after this bus stop and bus lane, now you do mirror signal and change lane to the left, which I can see you didn't done it. So soon the bus lane finish, this is the time for you to do the lane change. But I can see the left lane is empty, but still there's no um, effort to do the lane change. So again, lane discipline is again not happening. So again one more chance mirror signal left change lane and now you're doing it okay. So there was a good opportunity for, for you to do it early by looking the proper road sign and road marking. So make sure you pay attention to the road signs and road marking. Now you're going to approach the roundabout. Now this roundabout looks very dif difficult and different than others because it come under the bridge okay 30 mile road from now you taking the fourth exit right side. There is a zebra crossing so make sure watch the blind spot on the right before you proceed because sometimes you cannot see people coming under the bridge on the right. Can you see the pedestrian coming under the bridge on the right? So try to spot them early as possible and don't move if you see them. right mirror signal and if halfway of your roundabout signal got cancelled then make sure do it again. So if no one on the right then you move this is your number one exit going straight is number two exit then this street straight one now is number three exit And this is Ford showroom on the left and this is a sign this is your fourth exit. Now there is one important thing to remember this is a roundabout but you have no giveaway lines in front of you so it's one way for you. So you just go straight people coming from your right will wait for you you don't need to wait for them. You just go straight there is no giveaway line in front of you. It's better it's a little bit different. So 20 mile road keep going straight. Now the examiner going to take you to one of the street to the right then one of the street go straight then you will come out from the main side near the BP petrol pump and then they will ask you to pull up on the left side. 
and then the test is finished. Again, I'm very sorry to say that this test was fail and now we know the major mistake was changing lane without checking the shoulder look or blind spot and even without the reason of changing lane. So without reason lane change, without looking on your shoulders, without looking the direction mirror suddenly is not a good planning of driving. So that is a serious mistake and that's the fail and there are another minor mistakes as well in this test on a different different occasions. So next time when you prepare for your test make sure you pay attention to your road signs and road marking, look ahead, plan ahead, don't do anything on the last minute. Now thank you for watching, watch to the end and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you get notified for any new route. If your test is coming up soon, all the best and if you need any help, go to our website which is www.mqwdrivingschool.uk I'm sorry to say we are very very busy these days and we are not having enough time to conduct the mock test for the people but if you still want to do something in automatic car there is a possibility we have some spaces for automatic car mock test for manual car we are very busy and sorry we cannot conduct your mock test but if you want to do the mock test in your own personal car then we happy to assist you soon we can if any one of you want to make the videos and want to record themselves as well for the real mock test with a proper recording I'm happy to offer one free mock test every month but condition is we will record the video from inside of the car outside of the car front and back and all people in the car faces will be visible and that will be a real video recording if you happy to do this one I only have one space a month for one best candidate okay thank you for watching take care Bye -bye.